Hey guys, welcome back to Tracy's Place. Today I'm making some great northern beans. And I didn't know if I would like them before. They just never look good to me because they just look bland and pale and they didn't look flavorful. But when we took my daughter back down to school, I had some at a restaurant and they were delicious. So I want to teach you how to make them today. And I'm making them in my Power Pressure Cooker XL. And what I did was cut up one fourth cup of orange bell pepper, one fourth cup of yellow bell pepper, and a half of an onion. And this is turkey tail. And I have this in about two tablespoons of olive oil. And what I'm going to do now is season it. I'm going to put about half a teaspoon of Lowry's. I'm going to put a little bit of garlic pepper in. I'm also going to put real garlic in a little later. Right now, I'm putting in some Himalayan pink sea salt with the black pepper and garlic. This is amazing. This is one of my staples now that I use for seasoning. It is really good. I'm also using Italian seasoning. And that's going to be about a half of a teaspoon. It comes out slow, you guys. It's not coming out super fast. Just a little bit of flakes. So that's going to be about a half a teaspoon. One of my favorite seasonings also is this Cajun seasoning. It's not hot or anything. It just adds good flavor. So we're going to put about a teaspoon of that in. Even though I have onion in it, I love the taste of onion powder. So I'm just going to put like one fourth teaspoon. And you guys, this is very good when you don't have a lot of chicken stock or the real chicken stock or anything on hand. Use chicken flavor. This is a bouillon. It's in the powder form already, just in the jar. I don't, have, I don't buy the cubes. I buy it in the little canister here. And I'm sorry if I am rushing. Let's see, I'm going to put about teaspoon and a half it looks like a lot because I'm close into the pot <laughs> but it's about a teaspoon and a half you guys we are remodeling and stuff is everywhere so I'm not going to get a wide shot because there's too much stuff in the background so anyway these are the seasonings that I'm using I'm also going to use one fourth teaspoon of black pepper cracked back pepper it's in the grinder and I would have to I uh, use my tripod. My tripod's upstairs, so I'm going to put this down in a second, but I'm about to use about one fourth teaspoon of black pepper. So I've put that in, put the pepper in. I'm going to chop up this garlic, and I'm just going to do it with the knife because my garlic press is somewhere else in another part of the dining room. So I'm going to chop this up as finely as I can. I'm going to put it in here. All right, guys, so there we have this going on. And, all right guys, so now we have a good amount of seasoning in here for our beans. And let me show you the beans. These are the beans right here. These are uh, two and a half cups of Great Northern Beans. And they're just soaking just for about a half hour while I was getting all the seasonings and the, the uh, peppers and onions together. So I'm going to leave them in there, just let them sit for a minute. They're just kind of, I'm washing them at the same time. I'm going to put a little bit of vinegar in them, wash them, rinse them again, take out anything, you know, the bad beans uh, that are in there. And then I'm going to add them to the pot after I get these kind of sauteed together and get this, you know, little flavor thing going. So hold on. Also, you guys, I have made chicken thighs in my air fryer. And what I did was I put about two cups of water into the little broth, the little uh, the renderings from the chicken, the chicken juices. I just put them in here and let them sit while I was preparing everything. And I'm not going to saute this or anything. This is just going in to the pot and put the beans in. I've already rinsed the beans and everything and so we're going to just put them in just like that I'm going to add this little chicken stock or chicken broth 
from my chicken thighs and get all that flavor and goodness out of there. And now I'm going to add in three cups of water. I'm going to give that a stir. And you guys, you can personalize this. You can put green onion in here, green bell pepper. I did not have that on hand today. And so I used my onion and the other color peppers, which are just as delicious. All right, so that's what we're starting off with. And we're going to go ahead and get this started. So I brought the little insert over and put it into the power pressure cooker. And right now I'm going to click on beans and lentils. And we're going to add thyme. So I have it on 30 minutes for right now. I'm going to add time later, but it's warming up right now. I'm going to go ahead and put the top on. And after the pot warmed up, it finally started. So it gets it warm first and then it starts cooking. So I had set it to 30 minutes and it's going. So it has stopped. So we're going to open it up. Actually open the, we're going to put it to the oven. So we're going to let that stop and here's what it's looking like I'm going to just stir that up I'm going to let it go some more let me taste it first so I've tasted my water and I feel like I need a little bit more seasoning I'm going to put sazon in it this time about a teaspoon a little bit more of the de pollo And you want to get it to your liking, to what you like to taste. Putting a little bit more garlic powder in. A little bit more of this Himalayan pink sea salt. With the black pepper and garlic. Let me open this up better. The beans are still a little firm, so I'm going to let it go for 30 more minutes. I'm going to stir this up real quick. Quick. Let it go for 30 more. So it's been 30 more minutes, you guys, and the beans are tender. They are tender, and I'm going to put some honey in it. I like my beans to just have a little bit, not sweet, not sweet at all, but just a little something to me. And I'm not from the South, but I always say, Southern cooks always add a little bit of sugar to their dish, to a lot of their dishes. Because sometimes you're like, how do they make it taste so good? How do they make it so savory? And a lot of times it's a little sugar. And if you don't want to use sugar, use honey. Just a little bit. You can use like a tablespoon. And then I'm going to put some um, parsley and a little bit of cilantro in here. Love the taste of cilantro. I'll be back. Okay, so I put a little bit more honey in there and then you guys, I like to smush just a couple of beans, not all of them, but just a few beans up against the pot until they break open. And that way it exposes the middle of some of the beans and that thickness comes out in the liquid and makes it thicker and just more savory and just more mm. now I'm going to cut up the chicken that I made in the air fryer and I'm going to put turkey smoked sausage in here as well I'm going to chop this up and put that in alright guys so I'm going to add this in and cook for about 10 more minutes And I'm going to let it cook for 10 more minutes. And this is the end result, you guys. They look delicious. And let me taste some. Get some with some chicken and some beans up on this. Mm-mm-mm. Oh. 
Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. So I'm going to make some cornbread to go with these. And at some point, I'm going to link the cornbread video to the end of this. But stay tuned for some more cooking videos at the end of this. Until then. And you guys be blessed. I'll see you guys next time right back here on Tracy's Place. Also, take a look around for other videos on my channel. All right. See ya.